Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mr. Doctor Fan 13 here again with quite possibly the final classic Who unboxing. And um, unless uh, more episodes are found in the future, or unless the Crusade actually gets a proper DVD release with either reconstructions or animations. But here we are. This is um. This is it. Doctor Who: The Underwater Menace. And yeah. Um. This story was supposed to be released in uh, 2014, right after the Web of Fear. However, it was delayed um, until 2015. Then Doctor Who uh, magazine said, this has, actually has quite the story, um, then Doctor Who magazine said it was cancelled in like June 2015, but its suit went up for pre-order again and with the release date of October 26, 2015. And yeah. So I'm unboxing it like a bit after it was released, but it's finally here. So yeah, the underwater menace from the Patrick Troughton years, 1966 to 69. And yeah, there's really not much to this. It's just one disc long. Uh, but yeah, so, you may be, for those who don't know, The Underwater Menace, Episode 3, what has actually been released before, on the Lost in Time DVD set. However, in 2011, along with Galaxy 4 Episode 3 Airlock, The Underwater Menace Episode 2 was found, and a DVD release was immediately commissioned. Uh, and originally this was supposed to have two animated episodes but instead we got two reconstructions so that's kind of sad really but hey what are you going to do so the classic Who collection is now officially complete I mean I know that I kind of completed it before but now it's officially complete like it's um this DVD wasn't out when I, by the time I, by I, I completed my DVD collection. So, yeah. The Underwater Menace. Probably just going to watch this right now, to be honest. Uh, I have actually seen episode 2 online, so I have seen every surviving episode of Doctor Who ever. However, I have not, um... I have not... Uh, watched episodes one and four, like any sort of reconstruction of them. But as I was saying before, uh, yeah, this episode, when this episode was initially commissioned, it was supposed to have two animated episodes. Episodes one and four were supposed to be animated. However, I think they had some sort of like financial problems because I know. In 2013, there was a lot of, um, studios were animating a lot of stories. We had the Reign of Terror, we had the Moon Base, we had, I mean, that was released in 2014, but, early 2014, so it kind of counts, but we had the Reign of Terror, the Moon Base, we had freaking the Ice Warriors being animated, we had just the, those three alone, I think. I, I, there may be more, but, yeah. So... Underwater Menace, apparently, I've heard this is supposed to be crap, but from what I've seen, it doesn't look too bad. And I am looking forward to it. So, with that, this is Mr. Doc2513 saying word out. And I shall see you next time. There's not going to be a Christmas special this year, I don't think, because the Complete Nine series doesn't come out until next year. So, unless... Actually, no. I might do. 
I might get downtime. Because I, I know downtime has been commissioned for a DVD release, so I might get that. But still. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get downtime. I mean I might get downtime, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get K9, because that's not like a proper Doctor Who spin-off. It's not set in the universe of this, like torture and the search journey, it's just not that. Or even K9 and Company, so. Anyway. Yeah. So unless I get back into reviewing soon, which you know, it depends if I'm in the mood. Um you may also you may be wondering why I haven't been uh, giving my first impressions on the episodes of Series 9, well, I've decided I'm just going to wait until Series 9 finishes and just give my thoughts on each story then. I know I've given my first impressions on The Magician's Apprentice and my thoughts haven't changed, but I'm going to wait until Series 9 ends. In fact, you know what? I'm going to... I... Okay. Do you want me to wait until series? Do you want me to wait until series nine ends, or do you want me to wait for the Christmas special? Because I know um, the Christmas special is going to like air two, three weeks after Hellbent. So, comment. Do you want me to uh, give my thoughts on series nine after Hellbent airs? Or do you want me to give my thoughts on series nine and the Christmas special? After the Christmas special airs, it's up to you. Either way, I'll be I'll be giving my thoughts on the Christmas special anyway, unless uh, it's like last Christmas where I should just can't be asked doing it. But you know what? It's probably best to um. It's probably best to wait till Christmas. But please comment. Do you want my thoughts on series nine after Hellbent or after the Christmas special? Do it now. Uh, this is um, Mr. Doctor Van 13 saying word out, and uh, I'll see you next time for my thoughts on series 9, my unboxing of downtime, or my unboxing of the complete 9th series.